Hey, what's up planners and schedulers? It's Michael from Plan Academy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download the latest version of Primavera P6 Professional. If you're ready, let's go. So I just wanna let you know about a great resource that I'm gonna to offer to you. This is the page that I've built that talks about the latest version of Primavera P6. You can go to planacademy.com. Why? Well, I keep track of all of the different versions of Primavera P6, and whenever there's a new one, I often write a video, uh, make a video, write a blog about what's new, new features. So check that out if you wanna see all of the resources, all the things I've written about, and what's new in this version. I'll also leave a link to that below the video. First step, we need to grab the software. Now we're going to go to Oracle's e-delivery site to download the software. How do we get there? So grab a browser and punch in edelivery.oracle.com, edelivery.oracle.com. We can grab a free working trial of Primavera P6 Professional that you can install on your desktop and use maybe for our training, use for planning and scheduling, not for commercial purposes, but for getting to know the tool. You will have to create an account, that's right. So go ahead, click the Create Account button and go through the process of setting up your profile, setting a password, validating your email, do all of those steps to get yourself set up on their e-delivery portal, and then you'll be able to log in and download the software. So once you've got your account set up, go ahead and sign in. All right, once we're logged in, we've got a big search bar on the Delivery Cloud page here. So let's type in Primavera P6 and go ahead and click the search button. And you'll get a lot of results. And there are different flavors of P6, including EPPM here, and different things we can download, packages we can download. The one we were looking for here is not the DLP, that's a download package. But there's another one further down that says Primavera P6 Professional REL, like release, okay? That's the one we want. And the version we're working with in this video is 23.12. That's the latest version as of 2024. So let's click on that release. You can get a little pop-up that says it's added to your queue, almost like added to your cart. Now, if we scroll up in the top right, you'll see view items. If you hover over that, you can see it's added to your cart. And then we'll just click continue. This continue or that continue doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the package that we're looking to download and the platform is Microsoft Windows. By the way, if you're an Apple user, I'm sorry, it doesn't work on Apple. It only works on Windows. Let's click continue to get to the download piece. Now this part's important, and I wanna highlight that as you download the software, you're downloading a fully functioning copy, but as you agree to the terms, and I really recommend you read the terms, you are agreeing to a 30-day license of the software. Read that and then click continue. Okay, we're about ready to download, but I'm gonna simplify things for us a little bit here. We have these different uh, packages, these different zip files that we can download, but we don't need all of them. In fact, the only one we need is the first one, the application. We don't need the database setup or the API, just need the application. And instead of clicking this download button over there, I just like to right click and do save link as or save as, depending on what browser you're on, and download the software that way. There it is. I'm going to put it on my desktop and save it there. So really important, make sure you stay to the very end of the video where I will show you a couple key settings inside Primavera P6 to make your life a whole lot easier. Stick around. All right, we've got the software downloaded and you can see here's the zip file. I renamed it just for clarity here, but you wanna right click and then do an extract all or, uh, to extract that file to a folder. Okay, here's the extracted software. Let's go into the folder and go deeper into the release 23.12 folder. Just double click in there. And once again, there's another zip that we'll have to extract. So once again, right click and extract all. Select your destination and extract the tool. Okay, so that's extracted. Let's go into our new P6 Professional Setup folder 
and we have an exe file we can double click on. So let's go ahead and double click to run the setup. All right, so let's go through the setup process. Let's do a typical install and check this checkbox on the bottom, replace existing versions. P6 will let you install multiple different versions on the same PC. I have a bunch of previous versions that I would like to keep around, so I'm gonna uncheck that, but depending on your setup, you choose what's right for you. Let's click OK, and let's click Install. P6 has done the install, and it's presenting me with some options here. Let's choose our next steps. We don't need to run a, an upgrade utility, so we'll uncheck that. But yes, we do need to run the database configuration. Okay, so let's click OK. P6 is a database tool, and we do need to set up our database. And as you click OK, you get the database configuration screen that comes up. Now, I have a whole bunch of databases already in my list. You can ignore these. Let's add a new database uh, just for us. Okay, so let's click the Add button. And up at the top, let's click what kind of database we're going to connect to. The, the great option here is that we will install a local standalone version of P6 Professional by installing an SQLite database. So this is not connected to any servers, it's just standalone, and we have our own little SQLite database to work in. So choose SQLite from that drop-down list. The options down here say add a connection to an existing. No, we're actually going to choose add a new standalone database and connection. That's great. Now the database alias here is, you can give it your own name. The standard is PMDB uh, for Project Management Database. And I often put an underscore with the version, so 23.12. You can call it whatever you want, just as long as you remember it. Okay, so once we have it named, let's click the next button. And here we get to set up some of the parameters for the admin login. This database will just have one login It'll be this name admin, which is great. Let's stick with that. And the standard, again, this is terrible for 2024, but we often put the, the password the same. So the username is admin, the password is admin. Again, remember this is not a network connected database. Nobody's gonna log into it but yourself. But if you have a shared computer, maybe you wanna choose a different password as long as you write it down and remember it. Okay, underneath you can also choose your base currency, symbol, abbreviation. I usually don't mess with this. You're welcome to change it to whatever currency works for you. Okay, let's click next. The last step here is to actually pick a location for the SQLite database. So the SQLite database is actually just one file and you may wanna put it in a certain location. You can see it defaults to your documents, folder, Wherever you want to put it, that's great. I'm going to leave it there for myself. I also like to load sample data. That means that the database that it creates will not be completely empty. It will have projects in it that we can play with. That's a really good idea, so check that on as well. And I'm not sure what use ADO.NET data access is, but I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Okay, so let's go ahead and click Save to create our database. The alias is saved successfully, that's great. Click OK. And now we can actually just X out of this data configuration. And actually the install is done now. So we now have Primavera P6 23.12 installed. Where is it? How do I find it? Great. Let's go to Start on Windows. And you might see it here in the Recently Added but probably, actually I don't see the one that I'm looking for. So what we'll do is we'll go down to, yeah, there it is, Oracle-Primavera P6 under O, expand there. I have all sorts of previous versions, but you should just see Primavera P6 Professional 23X64, that's the one you want. Go ahead and click to load the application up. Okay. Um, check this out. If I expand the advanced area here, you'll see that's the database alias we created. And we can choose our login, put in admin, and the password is also admin. Are you ready? First login to our new database. Here we go. Stick around. Here's some important steps coming to you. Okay, we're almost there, but we get this pop-up. It says, 
the appropriate industry for your organization hasn't been yet selected, please contact your administrator. Don't worry, I'm going to help you fix this. Let's click OK and Primavera finally loads up. Okay, here's my sample data. I've got some projects in there. You're welcome to go and play a little bit. But a setting we want to set to get rid of that annoying pop-up on startup. How do we do that? Let's go to the admin menu and go down to admin preferences. And we have a bunch of tabs. Go to the industry tab, second from the bottom. Okay, so they created some different versions of fields based on the industry. And you can select that industry and the different versions of the fields will show up. So here's what I really recommend. Let's go with engineering and construction. Most people who set Primavera P6 up go for the engineering construction so that it's the same everywhere. Now, I wanna be really clear here. There's actually no functionality differences at all. The only thing you'll notice is that some of the fields are named different. So for example, if you choose engineering construction, a duration will be called the original duration. If you choose high tech, the duration field will be called planned duration. It's still a duration field. It still works exactly the same way, but there's a few little uh, tweaks to the naming conventions inside. I recommend you go with the engineering and construction setting. That's what I'm going to do and we'll go ahead and click close. And it says, hey, next time you load it up, it'll be active and that's great. So you could actually close it, reload it, and see those changes take effect. But, ta-da, we got to the end. Now you've got Primavera P6 installed. You're ready to go. Maybe check out some of our other tutorials. Maybe take one of our courses. If you work for an organization, we have amazing plans for organizations. Maybe check those out.